we are doing low spin this week and some shop at home meals. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. We have got another weekly grocery haul and meal plan for you guys, but we are going to be doing a huge Sam's Club stock up at the end of the month. So I really wanted to get into my deep freeze and organize it and pull out any meats that need like that are getting freezer burn or whatever the stuff that really needs to be rotated out of here. So that way I have more room for what's to come. Um, we are hopefully going to stock up again on some meats and then we're going to do a huge Sam's Club stock up, um, like I said, at the end of the month. So my goal is to use a lot of what's in my freezers, um, use what we need to use out of the fridge this week. So that way that gives us some more room when we go. We, um, did get a second deep freeze. <laughs> <laughs> that will be in a different video. Um, we ended up getting 10 dozen ears of corn and we put all that up. So we had no place to put that. Um, we got 31 bags of corn. That's how much we ended up getting um, put up into the deep freeze. So we had to go buy a second deep freeze. Um, so yes, Technically, we do have more space, but I still want to rotate what's in the one deep freeze downstairs and see what needs to be pulled out of it and used it. So, I did go to Walmart, though. I spent $63.02. So, let me show you what I got, and then we'll kind of go through and check the fridge, check the freezers, and I'll show you kind of like what I'm pulling out to use for this week, and we'll make a meal plan based around it. Okay, here is everything that I picked up. Like I said, we're just doing a fill-in, getting a few things. Um, and Grover did ask me to get a couple things for him, which he did pay me for. But I did put the total all together, um, like I told y'all at the beginning. So, we'll go ahead and start over here. I got him the big value size of the classic roast coffee. It was way cheaper getting it in the value size than getting in the smaller ones. Also, got him two caffeine-free Diet Cokes, two Diet Mountain Dews, and two... Um, zero sugar Dr. Pepper. Normally we do the Great Value brand, but they were all out and they have been forever. It's really a hit or miss when we can get them. So we went with name brand this time. I got some frozen green beans. Also got some popsicles, y'all. These are so, so good if you have not tried them. I love all of the flavors and they're honestly a whole family favorite. <laughs> they are really, really good. I got some onion and pepper blend. Also got some the California style veggie mix and some tater tots. Y'all know I normally like the tater rounds better, but um, I couldn't find any. Um, normally I get those from Kroger, which I didn't go to Ruler Foods, I just went to Walmart. So I went ahead and got tater tots. I picked up some of the this pectin. Um, this is the liquid one, which I've never used before, so I'm hoping that it works out good. Also got some Hershey caramel syrup. I need that for a dessert. I got some classic Alfredo. Also got some granulated sugar, um, almond milk, regular milk. I just got a little one, um, some whipped topping for the dessert as well. Also got a two pack of cream cheese. I got a six um, pack of the toffee bars, the Heath toffee bars. Um, I need that for the dessert as well. Got three bananas. Also picked up some squash. They didn't have any zucchini, so I went ahead and just picked up squash. The recipe that I'm making, I'll just change, change it out. Um, I got some baby carrots and also got some flour tortillas. But that is it. That's all we got this week. Um, like I said, we're gonna be doing a huge Sam's Club stock up, and I really just wanted to go through everything, do more shop from home meals. If I needed to pull any meats and whatnot out um, that are like, you know, working towards our last leg in the deep freeze, pull those out and use those. So that's what we're doing this week. So let me put all this away and I will share our shop from home meal plan. Okay, I do plan on doing a full like reorganize and everything on my stuff because I, since we do have the other deep freeze, I want to go through and have one deep freeze just for like fruits and veggies and breads and then the other deep freeze for my meats. That's going to be a whole separate video outside of this grocery haul. 
Um, so as you've seen, I just shared the grocery haul. So let's kind of go through and see what we have. Um, I've got some tomatoes that I ended up not using. So those can be thrown in. These need to be used if Max doesn't eat them because they're like on their last leg. Um, we got cheese. We have like so much cheese. We've got plenty of cheese. We also have some crescent rolls I could do something with. We have a dough sheet and we have some biscuits. We got actually another can of biscuits hidden back in there. So we have enough cheese to get us through the week. Plus we got the cream cheese that I bought. Um, so we can figure out something to do with that stuff. Um, this is all leftovers throughout the week. I need to go through um, some of it I can freeze. But other than that, behind that's just like jams and jellies and stuff. So it's not too, too important. Uh, we do have some lunch meat in here. So the guys are good to go for um, lunches for this coming week. They've been working local. So I either they either come home and have uh, sandwiches or they have leftovers. So it just depends. Now this is a cake that you guys would have already seen um, in my what's for dinner video. So I'll have that video linked down below. This is a I don't know what to call it because I can't call it what it is on here. Uh, let's say better than booty cake. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but I'll have that video linked down below so y'all can see how I made that. But what we'll call it that. What are you over there doing? Are you killing flies? Hmm? Are you killing flies? And then over here, I need to go through this too because this meat needs to be taken downstairs. The hamburger meat does um, to rotate through. But y'all already know we have so much stuff. If we find it on sale or if Luke finds it on sale, we grab it and we stock it. Um, I have been finding really good luck on getting these pork tenderloins. They've been like $3.50 a piece. So when I see them, I grab them and throw them in the freezer. So we have a ton of hamburger meat, plus we have a bunch downstairs. We've got different, we have like multiple um, things of the pork tenderloins. We have, this is um, boneless skinless chicken thighs. I know there is um, chicken cutlets behind that. Uh, these are chicken drums. Um, Winston's still good on lunch stuff. We've got tater tots. We have some smoothie things back there. We've got um, even breakfast. We've got pancakes. I did a whole um, pancake bulk batch stock up. I'll have that video linked down below in case you missed it. He's got chicken nuggets. We've got tilapia back in there. We even have lunch meat that I have froze that we can pull out and have um, if they use the turkey. We've got smoked sausages. Uh, there's like frozen veggies and stuff in here. That's what all that is. But honestly, I have enough meat in here to probably last like three weeks. <laughs> and I could probably do like three weeks worth of meals alone just with the protein that I have in here. Plus we have a crap ton of bananas. I can make some banana bread if we need to. We also have some butter. So that's just, just in this freezer alone. We have a ton of stuff that we can use. Okay, now we're downstairs in the back half of the basement. This is where the deep, one of the deep freezes is, and then my emergency pantry. I'm working on that. Y'all will see that later in the future. Um, this is the one, the deep freeze that we've originally we've always had. This one's a little smaller than the one that we just purchased, which it's upstairs because we have to um, have an electrician come and put us in a second outlet and then fix this one as well because this top one doesn't work so we just put it upstairs for now till we can have somebody come and reroute us a new electric you know electricity for down here because um, i would like both of them to be side by side but down here uh we've got a lot of frozen breads we have got a lot of hamburger meat there's a whole pack of chicken drums Y'all, there's just a lot. And honestly, when I do my huge organize, like I said, I want one deep freeze with everything but meats. So when I do that, I will pull everything out, label it all. Um, I'm going to do my freezer inventory sheets and do all that stuff. But I kind of pretty much know what all is in here um, just because, you know, we go through it 
Um, we got bacon. There's frozen meatballs. There's also um, some buffalo chicken down in there. We could do um, buffalo chicken quesadillas. That will probably be one of the things we do this week. Because I've got soft shells and we have cheese. So I probably will do that. We have some French bread. Um, I know there's it's horrible lighting down here. I'm sorry. Uh, trying to think. I know it's a mess, y'all. Just y'all be looking out in the future for an upcoming deep or deep clean and organized with me. What's gonna happen? We've got more freezer pancakes. More freezer pancakes. There's some frozen pizzas down in here. There's also a Boston butt. Honestly, I think there's two um, down in there. So, let me go through, pull out the meats that I'm going to be using this week, and I'll sit them all out on the table. That way, y'all can see. That will be easier. <laughs> okay, so here is the meal plan for this week. Um, I still have to get ink, so I don't have one of my printables um, out here. But my printables are available at my Etsy shop if you are interested. I have all kinds of cute different designs. Um, so we are going to start on Sunday, which is normally when I start my meal plan, um, and we did already have breakfast, so, um, I had bacon, I had frozen biscuits, I had, you know, everything, I had everything for breakfast, I had eggs, so we were good to go for breakfast, and then I'm going to do, um, I pulled out the pack of the buffalo style chicken, and we've got cheese in the fridge, and then we also have... Um, two different packs of tortillas. So we're going to do um, the buffalo chicken quesadillas. And then I've got the crescent rolls that y'all seen in the fridge. We'll also have cheese. I have onions in the, in here I have onions and potatoes. It's dark in here today because it's storming. But we've got onions and potatoes. So I have everything to do French onion bake. So I'm gonna do that. I'll have that recipe linked down below for you guys. So I pulled out um, hamburger meat, two packs of hamburger meat for that. And then this pack of hamburger meat is for the baked tortellini. I have got frozen tortellini in the freezer in here. I've still got cheese. So we're gonna do um, baked tortellini. I've got a ton of spaghetti sauce. I just canned a bunch as well as I already have pre-bought, pre like store-bought kind as well. So we're gonna do that. And then this is still frozen because I don't wanna pull it out in case we have to, you know, change in plans. Y'all know we change in plans a lot. But um, uh, we do have chicken thighs and we've got all kinds of vegetables. So we'll do some sort of a chicken with veggies and rice. And then Friday, Luke normally grills. Um, we've got the pork tenderloins in there. And then we also have chicken drums. So I'm just gonna let him pick what he wants. These are both chicken drums. And then I've got one, two, I think I've got four. I think there's one hidden behind there. So I've got like four of the Smithfield. Um, let's see if I can pull this out without it being a huge disaster. I think I've got like four of these. So this is the roasted garlic and herb. I got them for $3.99, so like I said, when I see them like that, I try to pick them up because that's such a good deal for, you know, that cut of meat. So, he can pick between either the pork tenderloins or the chicken drums, and then I'll just thaw those out closer to, you know, Friday. And then Saturday, we are helping um, Aunt Elma move, and we are not sure time-wise. Um, I'm sure we will be home for dinner time, but we also talked about going to Bowling Green and going on to Sam's. So I just left a question mark since we aren't, since we are unsure if we will be home or not. But that's the game plan. Like I said, we're using stuff that need to be pulled out, pulled out of the freezer, giving us more room to do our huge stock up at the end of the month. So this is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed today's grocery haul and meal plan, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.